what is going on guys and welcome back to the vlog it's been a long time yeah sure has it's been crazy busy with work so i've been traveling around for like the last six weeks so mm -hmm. we're coming back to you live got some time off so hopefully we can make some content for you guys what are we doing today kaylee we're going to hot pot and barbecue um this what's the place called it's also called <laughs> hot pot and barbecue what a great so, name <laughs> super excited um you found this a couple weeks ago, right? Yes, I was at yeah. Texas Roadhouse right across the street. Mm -hmm. And it does say there's still a grand opening sign, so it's still pretty new. Um, so we're looking forward to get in there. We've had Hot Pot, I guess most recently, a few months ago over in Miami. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, I'm really excited to have it again. So you want to go ahead and get in there? All right, we'll see you all in there. stuff for hot pot we have stuff for the grill we're really excited to get started what do you think you're gonna start with first i don't know i got pork belly here i got brisket here and i have lamb here i'm gonna throw this lamb into the hot pot yes you can see the lamb i did not see the lamb Kelly's got some i got too excited crab, <laughs> big ass chunks of steak well i got too excited about the crab and the steak um i'm definitely gonna put my crab in my hot pot and i'm gonna put the steak on the grill because this is, so you can see the difference, like all of this is really thin, so it cooks really quickly in the hot pot. And then that steak is definitely for the grill, because um, it's definitely thicker. Um, and then I also got some bulgogi beef, some butter shrimp, and some pot stickers, which I'm actually just going to pop those bad boys. You want one? Sure. Floater on it's in there. It's very hot right now, so it's taking a minute. It should only take yeah. like 30 seconds, if that. Yeah, so I got the herbal soup, right? Herbal soup. Yes, you got the herbal, I got the bone. The pork bone broth. Pork bone broth, which yep. is basically the herbal with the bone inside of it. So yes. it adds a little extra flavor. So while I need we're. To go up to the sauce bar. I didn't even get any sauce yet. I didn't either. We got distracted by the beef. So while this all comes to a boil, oh yeah, the sizzle. Boy, I'm ready put to go. These guys on here. Ooh. What else should we put on there? I don't know, you can put whatever put you want. The, put the put the shrimp on there. Put these little, little butter shrimp butter shrimps. These guys cook really fast. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna eat this just because I'm tired of waiting, so I'm going for it. No, that wasn't done. That wasn't even close. That was a mistake. Got a little kimchi to wash it down. Good kimchi. Ooh, who knows what we have could here? Could be lamb, could be brisket, who knows? Oh! Yeah, that's good. It's alright. That's good meat. Mm -hmm. What you talking about? Mm -hmm. I'd rather have it in my hot pot, but it's just not hot enough. Yeah, well, we gotta make a dipping sauce. We haven't made a dipping sauce first, and that's no. like a massive mistake. If you're no. going to hot pot or cream barbecue, have a dipping sauce. We're gonna be an amateur. Yeah, I just got too excited. Yeah. Yum. That's pretty good. I like that meat. What about this big piece of steak you brought over here? We need to cut it. All right, let's get into the steak. All right, we just cut the steak. Looks pretty tender. You said it was just described as steak on the menu, right? Just steak, yep. All right, here we go. Got a good piece, cooked pretty well, if That's I do really say tender. so myself. Did a nice job, really nice job. Not the, most, not the most tender piece of steak, but it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. it, um, it's juicy though. It is very juicy. It's just not as tender though. It's no. probably just like a, a little rough. Right. Yeah, but it's good. Chase it with some kimchi and life is alright. Could definitely use some sauce. 
Yeah. We gotta do that next. Yep. No. Alright, well, why don't we... How about you? You're good at making sauces. Why don't you make, go make the sauces and I'll, I'll cook this bulgogi. Hello. All right, what are we gonna go for? All right, I made the sauce now. So the, the sauce is two parts peanut, mm -hmm. one, sauce, one part house barbecue, one, one part famous barbecue, scallion, garlic, and maybe a little hoisin. All right, I'm gonna mix that sauce up. This yeah. is, see what it turns in, oh yeah. Maybe too peanutty. I might have gone overboard with the peanut, but I usually go a lot of Looks peanut. Good, though. Hot pot is finally boiling. You got a shrimp laying around here? Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna pull the dumpling out. He's ready to go. Mine's almost done too. Starting to, starting to float. Alright, yeah, we got everything going on now. Now we're ready. Alright. I'm excited. We got the bulgogi? Yep, the beef bulgogi. Can I have I some grab, of that? Yep, grab that one right here. Should we just go without the? Yeah. I think so. Flavor, it looks probably. pretty good. Oh, mm. I got more already. Good. Yeah, that looks really, really good. Yes, that'd be great, actually. Thank you. I got a side of rice coming. More rice, the better. All right, yeah. that was really good. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get more of those. Pull my dumpling out. All right, gonna so get into the dumpling real quick. Well, now that what? we've got the hot pot going, why don't we see what's on that conveyor belt? we can get whatever's in there cooking, like maybe some vegetables or something, do you think? Yeah, I'm gonna grab some stuff. Let's see, what do we, what do we got cool. coming here? Yo Tao. Chinese fried dough. Always a necessity. Soak it in your hot pot broth, wonderful. Yeah, more for yeah. after dinner. Enoki mushrooms. Did you, miss, did, did you just miss some cabbage? I think you mess around with cabbage today. Come on now. Oh, I do like these, actually. Enoki mushrooms, got them. Oh, these mushrooms look good, huh? It's like a little button mushroom. I like mushrooms a lot. It's like a little button mushroom. Yeah. I want some of those. Don't okay. eat them all. It's a little half and half. All right. Is I don't see what you're there? looking for. No. I'm gonna go with this brisket though. Where's the lamb? This. The lamb is yeah, the less fatty one. All right. All right. So the hot pot's rolling. Let's get in there. This should actually take. Yeah. Almost no time. No time at all. Yeah, see that brisket's mm. already cooked really quick. Yeah. I'm gonna dip it in the sauce. Oh, that sauce looks sauce. too dang good. To... I'm gonna put this over here since it's more for dessert. Ooh. Is it good? I know how to make a sauce now. Come on. You are a good sauce maker. That's why oh. I sent him up there. Thank you. Let's see what it tastes like. It's very peanut forward, but I like this, mm -hmm. like the sweetness to it. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. Thank you. There's a big shiitake looking mushroom. You want to eat this dumpling real quick? Yeah. What is it, pork? Pork dumpling. All right, I'm going to dive into the pork dumpling. I'm going to dip it in my sauce. Mmm. Dang, that sauce is good, bro. Who made that freaking sauce? I don't know. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Excellent. Good job. Really good. All right. What do we, we want to get going like next? A, we both like a peanut sauce too, though. Yeah. With our pad Thai. True. Peanut sauce. What yeah. should we get going next, Taylor? Um. What are you feeling? I say let's throw. A, Just finish a couple throw things something. that are laying around here, and then we'll cook a new batch of everything. Yeah, I'd say we throw something thick on the grill. Maybe those short ribs. I can't fit on that grill. <laughs> like the short ribs perhaps um yeah let's get the short ribs on can't go to a korean barbecue without making short ribs oh it's all attached let's try these little mushrooms oh. mushrooms are good damn hot though i remember my mouth will ever be the same i'll let my cold down going with the lamb Oh, yeah. I, I love lamb. My favorite meat. Has to be. More brisket. Five seconds. 
cooked. Yep. Alright, I think while we wait for that, I'm gonna put one of these bad boys. You gonna eat that thing? I think so. You think so? <laughs> I think I might. <laughs> Have them float in there. I have a whole shrimp. Also, oh, I forgot if I I forgot I got mussels and clams. Yeah, we gotta get these babies cooking now. All right. I'm I just don't know how I feel about this. What do you mean? What are you scared of? His whiskers? Yeah. Nah, uh, he's harmless. Okay. All right. Oh, that grill's starting to sizzle now. Oh yeah. Here we go. Get you one in there. You're putting your crabs in my pot? You lost your mind? He's a good guy. Ew, he stinks like the ocean. A high hell. <laughs> I have to turn this thing up now. Oh, I don't like the way that guy smelled at all. Oh. Alright, let's get some of this meat on the grill then. This is a big piece of brisket. Put that on there too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I do. Job feel. Get that short rib flipped. Oh yeah, nice caramelization. Oh, that's gonna be a freaking good piece of meat right there. I am excited. I really want that bulgogi beef though. It was so good. Yeah, a bunch I more know right I there. I want more already. We'll grill her up. Don't you worry. I feel like, I feel like gorillas in the spa. mist or something here. Oh. You know what I'm saying? No, because I said I feel like I'm at the spa. Oh. And you said something a little different. Oh, yeah, this is grilling up nice. The brisket. Yeah. Oh. Got your broccoli. It's not good. Almost snuck away from me. My hands are too good still. set that aside for you because I know you like to eat stuff close to the bone. Stuff close to the bone has the most flavor. True, but Kaylee's also has the bone. most fat. Alright, let's go in for the short rib. Okay. Sound good to you? I'm gonna do one without? One without sauce, yes. Yeah. Gotta try it. Just with the little marinade. You know what that tastes like? It's a good like that beef jerky and we got the a Korean Costco. Barbecue beef jerky. Yeah, that's good. Definitely taste it though. Alright, I'm gonna taste it it's with like a little bit of the... It's like that bulgogi like... It does have that. Sauce, right? Mm -hmm. Let's try the brisket. You want to? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna dive in first. Okay. Looks pretty tender. It's fatty. Katie doesn't like fatty stuff that much, but... No. I really don't. Alright, I'm gonna put it in my... Mmm. Good? Oh. The brisket's good. I will try it then, I suppose. Oh, kimchi though. It's turned into a mess here, folks. I'm battling for my life over here. I can see that. I feel like I'm in the jungle. I'm in the jungle, baby. Alright, I'm gonna go into the sauce. Sauce is too good. Mm. This is good, huh? You wanna try the shrimp or what? You wanna break them out? I normally suck the head, but I'm alright today. It's alright. You like the brisket? Yeah, it's alright. I like the brisket more than the short rib. It sounds crazy, but. Does that sound crazy? It does sound crazy. It does indeed. I'm gonna actually put a little of the sauce on my. The shrimp is tougher than it should be. Mine got left in there a little bit longer than yours. Alright, you wanna taste my shrimp? Are you sure that one's yours? Yeah, put it through in here. Here, have a little taste. Seafood has been good so far. It's not a good shrimp. It's um, kind of like mealy. 
Maybe we overcooked the shrimp. Perhaps. That's all right. I don't really boil shrimp, really. I tend to just saute or grill them, so not a master of that. Let me get this little, uh, little clam here. Yeah, look, I just got mine, too. Yeah, nice little briny clam. No. I'm over here sweating like I'm putting in a 12-hour shift in a factory. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Ah, oh, late. Yeah. That one still had some sand in it. I feel like I'm in the jungle of South America in here. It's a good little neck. Yeah, my clams were really good. Should I get the bulgogi on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's good bulgogi. Oh, Let's get everything cooking here. A little bit of short ribs. Bulgogi? Yeah. Bulgogi? The brand. Oh. I'm telling you, the bulgogi is probably my favorite so far. Yeah, it's great. So good. I want it with some of that rice. Ah! Here, pull apart. Take the whole lot. Well, I want it with rice too. That thing is just spitting on me. Mm -hmm. And wow, ah, we. I'm under attack. Yum. Yum. Ow. Scheiße, Junge. Short rib. This place is good. This place is legit. It's really good. There's nothing like this in Fort Myers, Florida right now that I know of. I think this is like the literally the first. Well, and we said it's, they still have their grand opening sign out front. Yeah. So it's still very new. Hot, pop and, hot pot and barbecue. Can't miss it. Can't, can't miss what it's about. Ooh, that's a big mushroom right there. Right here in Fort Myers, Florida. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're going to try the, we're going to dive into this crab real quick. Ay, ay, ay. Is it still hot? Is it cooled down enough? Yeah. Good. It's uh, still a little hot. What do you want me to do with this? I don't know. Get your hammer out. Oh, look. Use your chopsticks. What am I, chop liver? It's pretty mid. It's not very good. Not a big fan of the crab, huh? No, it's not very good. It's not a snow crab, eh? Let me get a little try. No. Some pretty good. Yeah, I don't want any more of that. No. Yeah. Here, just chuck it. I want more of this. Short rib. Mmm. So fatty. So delicious. And a good teriyaki-ish bulgogi marinade. The bulgogi is great. Same marinade. All right. Well, we're gonna finish up here. But what was your favorite thing so that we've had today? I mean, crazy enough, I liked like the hot pot meats when I threw them on the grill, like the really thin mm -hmm. lamb, the really thin brisket, like that kind of stuff. And Lamb's then, your favorite in general, though. So lamb I feel is like probably my favorite. Lamb is probably my favorite meat. Yeah. yeah. So it's tough to beat that. Yeah. Um, the bulgogi had that great teriyaki type flavor, mm -hmm. sesame seeds and all that stuff in there, so it was really good too. I think the sauce that I made was an absolute banger. That sauce was really good. Thank you. I would say my favorite was the bulgogi, um, least favorite, the crab. It just wasn't good. The shrimp were pretty good too, the butter shrimp. Yeah. were pretty good at the very beginning. 
No, but the crab it's was still probably shrimp. my least favorite too, because even like the clams were really good. The clams were good. So maybe yeah. you don't get the crab, but get everything else. Yeah, I would highly recommend. Um, I think maybe next time when we're not as full, or maybe when we don't want to try everything, we'll try some more stuff on the conveyor belt. They have udon and ramen and a bunch of different vegetables and things like that. Yeah. So. Um, but tons of options here. It's so cool. Like you said, this is like the only one in Fort Myers or anywhere around here. Yeah. So if you're in the area and want to give it a try, highly recommend. It's, it's super, super it good. It is really good. Super good. Hot pot and barbecue. This is right At off six, mi six Mile Cypress, I think. Yeah. Off Six Mile Cypress mm -hmm. in Fort Myers, Florida. Yep. Come check it out. All right. We'll finish up here and we'll see you guys next time. See y'all. Bye. All right. We got to do the Yolk Pow. Or the fried dough. Let me try. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Sorry if I did. Dip it right in. Get it all nice and uh, soaked. Ah.